All right, so the last tab we have in the global nav bar is chat. And chat is just like Jabber. It's going to be for the entire institution where you can do a one-on-one -on -one chat. You can actually also ask a bot for suggestions. And you can make group chats. So if I wanted to add multiple people to a chat, say Canvas Facts, and uh, I wanted to add Casey Dodd as well, then I could go ahead and I could start a chat with both of them and essentially start talking. And again, all the features that you've had available in conversations are still here. Conversation, I can upload or share files if I want to. And it just makes it really easy in private chats or group chats to kind of communicate outside of your teams if you need to. Now the other key piece of this that you'll notice is that you do have the option to do video and then VoIP calling. Okay, so this is really, really cool. There's only one catch though, and that is that if I try doing video calling here, I'm going to get this message. That the only way I can actually do this right now in the current state of Teams is by using the desktop app. So for the time being, for most of you, I would say that the web-based app is going to do everything that you need it to do for Teams. But if you do feel you need to do some kind of video or voice calling over the internet through, for the purposes of your Teams, then it's going to require you to install the desktop app. Now, it's a free app, and if you're at home on your desktop, obviously, you can just install it as you need to there. I don't have any details pertaining to a rollout on the campuses related to IT, and I'm waiting for uh, the go-ahead from Dave Hoyt before I say anything with that. So at this point in time, I'm not going to make a recommendation one way or another in terms of installing it on desktops at, on the college. I'll say if you can just be patient, as soon as I have updated details pertaining to that, I will let you know via email uh, when you can put in requests for installations if they're going to be allowed. Okay, So just if you need this app at home, you can install it as you need to on your laptops or desktops. Uh, there's also a mobile application that's available that you can install on uh, iPhones, and I believe there's one for Android as well. So let's go ahead. I want to I want to show you what the desktop version of the app looks like, so you can kind of get a feel for this, and and you can kind of know and understand how you could use those. So I'm going to go ahead and close Chrome. And I'm going to jump over here and open up the desktop version of the app. And when I do, you're going to notice it looks almost exactly the same as what we were seeing there in the web browser. So I've got all my tabs that I created there. If I jump into chat, I've got all of the chat windows that I had actively participated in. Now I can actually make the voice calls if I want to. Still see my activity, still schedule meetings. I mean, it basically retains all the functionality of the app that I was using online. So the great thing about this is, no matter where you are, no matter what kind of device you're on, you can access Microsoft Office Teams. And so I think this is really going to help with the way people's workflow goes. I'll give you a, a brief demo in the next video of the mobile app, and then I'll go ahead and just wrap everything up. Okay, so that is the desktop application, and again, it's a free application. If you want to download it, just go to teams.microsoft.com slash downloads, and that will take you to this page where you can then install it on your home PC or your home Mac. And then it also has the links for iOS, Android, and Windows Phone here as well. So again, that's teams.microsoft.com forward slash downloads.